What's up, y'all? It's your boy Zell back with another video. Yes. Today, your boy about to get ready to dye some of his old shoes. That's it, yup. I'm about to get ready to dye my old shoes. I got two shoes that I'm finna get ready to work with. Let me let y'all see. My light terrible. I got my old sixes. I had to tape them because I'm finna do all black on these, so. I'm gonna do all black. Look how low and crusty them is. I wiped them down a little bit, but they low and dough. So that's, I'm gonna use black on these. And then I got my, I think they call it Vapor Maxes. I already had did it once. They used to be all white, but I'm gonna re-go through this again. I'm gonna wipe them down one more time. And then I'm gonna just throw, you know, a color on them. What I'm gonna be using is, y'all know what it is. I ain't cut nobody here though, so y'all see them clippers. This is Ritz Black. I'm gonna use this. I was gonna get the dust, but I'm gonna just get just... I got this whole full thing because, I mean, I don't want to have to go back again. And that's all black. And then your boy got coral. Yes, coral, coral. That's my color. Everybody like to call it pink, but it's not pink. For instance, I mean, for y'all that's out there that's seen all the other videos with my cousin calling everything that I was wearing pink, here y'all go. Coral, 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 coral. And, of course, you're going to need a bucket. I got another bucket outside, but haven't yet went out there to go get it yet because uh, I got some people that's out there that's probably going to be interrupting. You know this video, and I'm trying to get this video done. All right, so we're about to get started. Okay, so first your boy gonna get started with the black, like I said. Black, 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 black don't jack. So we're going to just go ahead and then we're going to make sure that we got everything wiped up and everything first. So again, I'm going to do a little another pre-wipe with these black Jordans so that we make sure we got everything all good. So give me a sec. I did get a chance to uh, do my Ugg boots. I'm going to probably dip them again one time today. Uh, remember, they was all brown and I ended up dying them black. Look how the dope it looked in the inside too. So I might dip them one more time again after I get done doing these Jordans. Just wanted to show you all that too. Them boys still in there. For sure. Alright, so what we're about to get ready to do is I hope this didn't mess the view up of the video once the video is done and created. But what we're gonna get ready to do is uh like I said, wipe these J's down. So I'm gonna get a towel. A towel that I could use to wipe shoes though. You know what I'm saying? I don't wanna just use a towel that you know we clean up with and not clean up with, but I'm talking about, you know, as far as cleaning your body and stuff with. We don't wanna do that. Because if you do that, then you use the stuff that you use on your body to clean some dirty shoes. Come on, man. Come on. Had to grab a little dish detergent real quick, you know what I mean? Don't want to do nothing without some dish detergent. Really, you could use other little soap, too. I just like to use dish detergent because dish detergent just clean off the grease and stuff from everything to me, so... Then I wring the towel out real quick. And after I wring the towel out, I get the shoe. And I just wave it down. Wipe it down, make sure ain't no dust or nothing on it. You know, nothing that'll make it to the point where you won't even be able to get a good look out of it. Oh, I didn't tape that side? I guess it's cool. I kind of want to see what happened anyway. Uh... You know, you just want to get a good look out of your whole, you know, out of your whole shoe when it's done. You don't want to just have it to the point where, you know, you don't got a good look because then you waste the money on your dye. But uh, I'm hoping that this don't change right there. That, if that change, I mean, I guess it'll be cool because I said I'm just doing something different, but I hope it don't. But if it do, it's okay. We'll see at the end, though. I'm going to wipe the other one down real quick. Put a wipe down, you know, nothing perfect. You ain't got to clean them. I mean, you ain't finna rock them and stuff right now. You just putting them in here so that you can, uh, you know, get them in for the dye. So that's a good wipe down. I'm going to grab these and wipe these down real quick. Yeah. Hopefully we get that same color. I'm hoping we get that same color. I hope it, I hope it don't go red because I did some uh, all white bands and they went all like blood red. These came out like this, which is dope. So I hope that I can get the same color again, and not that not that red color that the Vans got. I mean, I like them because it you know it's red, but I wasn't expecting that for the Vans. I was expecting more coil, 
like how this is. So, but we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully, I mean, I'm regardless. I'm still mess with them with anyway because it's my own design that I'm you know doing. I'm dying them and making them my own kind of way. So, you know, I'm gonna still fuck with them. But I'm just saying, just in general, you know, I just hope it do what I wanted to do. All right, so what I'm going to get ready to do now, y'all, is I'm going to fill a bucket up. I ain't going to do this one, these ones yet. I think I'm going to wait to get another bucket for these in which the bucket is outside. I got to go get it, clean it and stuff. And then, you know, I'll put a, put a video. I mean, do a part of the video with some with me doing these ones. But the first one we're going to get started with is the black ones with the bucket. So let me put some water in the bucket, and I'll get back to y'all. So as y'all can see, I didn't do too much water. I just did pretty much like, I want to say a quarter of the bucket because you don't want to put too much in. Because if you do, then, um, yeah, you might not get the look you want. You want the, you know, you want as much of the dye to soak into the shoe. So just put like a quarter. Take the dye and put the dye in yet. Yeah, but y'all about to see now. Here we go. I got the black dye. I'm going to open it up real quick. Hold on. Let me open him up. Let me open him up. Y'all can see me open him up. Open him up. I don't know, can you throw paper in the, in the toilet stool? I don't know, I'm just gonna throw this in the toilet stool since I'm right here, that's okay. I'm sure the flush will go down somewhere. It's kinda like loitering though. What? It's done. So I don't know. I'm gonna probably, I'm probably gonna use the whole thing since I'm gonna be dying two blacks. So I'm gonna just use the whole thing. Oh, uh, you can find these at Myers for $2.99, or you can go to Joann's and get it for $4.99. Now, the only time I go to Joann's to get these is when I can't get them at Myers. Of course, the price is different. So uh, yeah, but you can go to Joann's, you can go to Michaels, or you can go to Myers or Walmart. They all have them. Myers is just the cheapest. That's why I go to Myers. And it's called Rit. Rit. All right, y'all, I'm pouring it in. So let's pour it in the bucket. All right, let me get the top and put back on here so we don't have no leakage nowhere. I set that there. I'm gonna let y'all see what I'm getting ready to do. So it's in there. As you can see, it's bubbling and stuff. I'm gonna stir it real quick because I want it to be stirred all the way up. Yes, sir. Stir that up so we don't miss out on nothing. All right, I hate to even take this out honestly because it's gonna get dyed everywhere. Let me turn this. Let me turn this water on real quick. Hold on, y'all. All right, y'all. So as y'all can see, I put both shoes in there. I wanted to show a video of y'all, a uh, video of me doing it, but I just couldn't. It was too tough to put the shoe in there. But I got them both in there right now. I want to push this one down more, but I guess I really ain't trying to get that part anyway. But I got them in there, so what I'm going to do is just probably leave them for 30 minutes, maybe to an hour, and let them set. And then after that, I'm just going to clean them off. So I'll get back to y'all when I got the results. All right? I couldn't find my bucket, y'all. Well, I found it. It was broke. My older brother broke it and didn't replace it. So now I got to use this one. But it never works. Yeah, that's that boy pouring that red up in there. Uh-huh. Look at me saying red. It looked red, but it's really coral remember coral it's a pink colored red colored coral coral yeah so i'm about to get ready to dip them dip them boys in there real quick so your boy gonna let them set for a little bit and then i'll come back to y'all later with the results all right i'll let y'all later family all right y'all so i just want to come back and let y'all know that i finished those shoes that i died unfortunately it was an epic fail Epic, epic. epic. I mean, they Fail. turned out nice at first, but what I did was I went and I dried them in the dryer both together, not thinking that the black dye could come off of the black shoes and go on to the Nikes, which had the coil on it. Man, they, the coil ones was going to be dope, but the black dye came off the black shoes and got everywhere, even in the dryer, and also on the Nikes. So it was an epic fail, y'all. But I did want to come back and just let y'all know that I did it. It did get done. They looked it nice before I put them in the dryer. 
But when I put them, when I put them in the dryer, that was the epic fail that happened. Well, y'all, I love y'all. Audi to the next video. Ten thousand. So entertainment, it's just real.